Hi again, it's Michael from Ericsson. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the, the key features of the mobile broadband router that you've purchased. Starting from left to right, let's talk about the icons and what they mean. Once you've plugged in the device the very first time, if you have a network signal in your home, it should take just a matter of minutes to get connected to the internet. Some of the first things that you might see are blinking lights uh, on the left side here, which is the network indicator. Once that light is solid, that means the device is connected to, to the cellular network. The next light here, the internet icon, means you've actually established a complete connection to the internet. So if you have one without the other, you're still not connected to the internet. The key indicators to determine if you have a connection to the internet is a solid network signal indicator as well as the internet. Let's move on to the Wi-Fi connection, which is the third icon. This automatically is enabled in any pre-configuration unless your service provider has disabled, disabled it for you. Additionally, the Wi-Fi key, uh, name, and password would be printed under the device, which we'll show you in just a minute, so you can always remember uh, the Wi-Fi key and password. The fourth icon is an alarm signal, and typically if that is flashing, there's a problem with the device or a problem connecting to the network. In most cases, when that light is flashing, the SIM card uh, is, is not being recognized in the device or not establishing a connection, and it may require you to power off the device and power it back on. Over to the right is our signal strength indicator, and this is intended to help you as a consumer to troubleshoot uh, the signal strength in your home. Uh, sometimes, like on your mobile phone, you may have a stronger signal in one side of the house versus the other. This sort of device needs to be placed uh, where you identify the best signal strength. So if you start in by installing it and after a few minutes you've only got one or two bars, uh, but you know you have a good signal in your home, in other areas, simply unplug the device and move it to another area and wait for the uh, s uh, connection to establish. The goal is to achieve the highest number of bars possible. If you're unable to get a strong signal more than one or two bars, uh, there is an external uh, antenna option that we'll talk about in a separate video. Uh, from a user perspective, if you have two bars and three bars, the speeds should still be adequate and hit broadband speeds. Let's talk a little bit about the, the back of the device. The SIM card slot is placed at the top of the device and most likely your retailer would have pre-installed that SIM card when they activated the device for you, so you shouldn't have to touch that device. At the bottom of the device from left to right, let's talk about some of the physical ports. Again, from left to right, there is an external antenna option. Uh, if you don't have a good signal in your home, it may require external antennas via window mount or roof mount, depending on the type of coverage that you have in your area. Ericsson uh, works with third parties, antenna manufacturers, to, to make antennas available to you as a consumer through their resellers or even your service provider may offer you a bundled antenna solution and home professional install. Check with your service provider on what may be available to you. The next button is the reset button, uh, which, would, uh, which would be pressed in the event that you ever changed any part of the, the web interface or forgot your secure password or had make a configuration change and, and, and prevented the device from working. By pressing and holding that reset button with the unit powered on, it will restore the unit to its factory defaults and, and re-establish a connection unless there's some other problem happening uh, between the device and the network. Next is the RJ11 or the home phone port. Depending on if your service provider offers you home voice services through these devices, um, you can connect in your traditional home phone, an analog phone such as this, or cordless phones uh, that most of us have in our homes. The next two ports are physical Ethernet ports, so you can plug in those older desktops or even if you wanted to expand to connect more devices via a, a, an external hub, um, but at a minimum you can connect in those old desktops and, and get an internet connection. Uh, further to the right is our USB port, which is used for printer sharing or external storage options. Lastly is, our, is the power port. Um, so again, Ericsson would have worked with your service provider in advance to make sure that the device is pre-configured so that you can just plug the unit in and as long as you have a signal strength uh, indicator then you'll be up and running and on the internet in just a matter of minutes. Again, check out some of our other videos on how to access the web GUI, uh, installing an external antenna, even online gaming uh, is, is a question that we, we answer. So thank you for uh, checking out our videos and uh, we'll see you again soon.